What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Trick Tense. Today we are starting a new project. This thing is going to be sick. It's a well-built 1652, which is my personal favorite hull and size to build out. I have not built a 1652 in a while. I built a bunch of 1648s recently, but this 52 wide gives you the extra four inches. It really makes a humongous difference when you're laying out stuff inside of the boat. It's going to be sick. This guy that owns this boat, he's gonna be fishing some of the local Bass John tournaments around here. So this thing's gonna be local. And not only that, he's got big plans for this boat. He has shipped me tons of stuff that's going in here. All the grass, all of the turf. He's got tons of electronics and stuff going in here. He's got a brand new motor, brand new trolling motor. Oh yeah, it's a brand new boat too. It's a 2023, has a brand new trailer on it. I'm gonna turn this camera on. I'm gonna show you guys the entire rig. I'm gonna tell you what I plan to do to it. It's going to be insane. It's basically going to be a mixture of King Neptune and the creature on steroids. This might just be my greatest boat build ever. We'll see. Let's get back to work. All right guys, so check this thing out, man. I love these well-built. This front end is just so aggressive. Thing looks dope. They have the front eye winch way up here tight on this model. It's the way I like them, nice and strong. All these points coming together makes this whole front of this boat super strong, man. He's got a nice upgraded trailer too. He's got the galvanized trailer. I did install this Fulton fold away swing arm on here. This thing's sick too. I did that because it's three foot right there. I cut three foot off this thing. It gives me a little bit more room to walk around it and work on it. And it's definitely something that we need to do into this boat. I got that on there. That's pretty much the only thing I've done to the boat so far. But this thing is sick, man. I love the look of these well built, especially the brand new ones. I mean, this is like the creature all over again, except it's two feet longer and it's four inches wider. It's going to be dope. I mean, it's got the smallest front deck you can get on it. It's about 36 inches. It does have a little pocket in here, basically just like a storage area. We're probably going to be doing away with some of that because this thing is going to be getting a rod locker in it. It's got to be set up for tournament fishing. So obviously it's going to have a live well and lots of storage and stuff like that. But it is a badass boat as it sits, man. I'm hyped about starting on this build. He got the nice upgraded trailer. It comes with the chrome wheels. He's got the full size car tires. Got the big chrome aluminum fenders on here. The trailer came with these big guide posts on here. I had to take these PVC pieces off of here because they were too tall and they were about to hit my rods. I could not fit them in the garage. So I just took them off, but they are really tall and they got these big orange caps on them. See them, they're right over there in front of my TV, but those sleeve right over top of these. And it makes it really nice when you're backing this thing up. You can see where your trailer's at. This boat is going to be a piece of art, man. Like I'm so hyped to build this thing. It's ridiculous. Let's get right into it. So this boat has a smaller back bench in here. Now this back bench, this thing is only 17 inches across here. Not a big deal. I like this being smaller because that's just more room in the boat for me to play around with. Now what we're gonna do with this boat is gonna be similar to a lot of the other builds. This back bench right here, we're gonna drop a hatch on either side. I already have the hatch frames for those made because I'm getting ready to cut a hole into either side and dig all this foam out and start framing out this back deck. And then from this back bench seat, back to the transom, same type of deal as King Neptune's, all the bills. We're gonna end up cutting this down right here so that we can keep everything streamlined. A big hatch back here. He's gonna put his gas tank in here, have a little bit of storage on the side. Then we're gonna get into this humongous area right here. Now this is going to be fun, guys. I have not laid out a 1652 in a long time and I'm looking forward to it. Look at all this space we got in here. I mean, this is a whole lot of room for some cool stuff to happen. So we're going to put a rod locker in here. Now we were thinking about going with a center rod coffin like we did in King Neptune, but the issue is that is if we put the rod locker right at the center, then it poses an issue with putting a live well on either side of that and they might offset the weight a little bit too much. So we're going to run a rod locker on one side. It's probably gonna be over here on the port side. And then we're gonna have a big live well, and then we're gonna have two or three storage compartments in front of that, and probably a storage compartment up in this front deck. Obviously a recessed foot pedal tray. I mean, the thing is getting the whole nine yards. It's gonna be super dope. And I'm excited about building this boat out because I like building well builds. And it's been a minute since I built a well built. The last one I did was Billy's Badass Boat Build, and that was probably my finest work yet. That boat and King Neptune are right there. 
Top of the food chain. So this one, we got to top them. We got to top both of them. It's going to be a mixture of both of them. And it's going to be sick. I mean, the whole thing is going to get painted. We're going to do probably a wrap on it. We're going to have all kinds of crazy stuff going in here. So the first thing I got to do, though, is I've got to cut down all these ribs. These ribs are too tall. You can obviously tell, you know, from this point to this point back here where the back bench starts, you run a straight edge across there. We're going to have to top off about two inches on all of these ribs right here. But it's not a big deal because look, these ribs, they're only welded at the top. So we're just going to basically come back right here. We're going to weld this down lower and just cut this off right here, rip that out. And the way I do this so I don't cut into the hole, I'll just cut into this weld with a cutting wheel on both sides. Then I'll just take a flathead screwdriver. I'll squeeze it right in this side right here where I made my cut. Hammer it in there one time and pop this thing off in one piece. It comes off super easy. I come back and grind these top welds off on either side, and you'll never know that they were even there when I get done laying this thing out, and it's a finished product. It's going to be a sick-ass build, guys. Y'all got to stick around for this. I'm going to go ahead and get started by cutting off all of these pieces on either side of all of these top ribs in here, and then we're going to talk about the entire layout of this thing. We're going to get started framing this thing. Let's get back to work. All right, so as you saw in the last clip, Austin stopped by. He's in town just for this week. So he wanted to help out with the build and we made some time on this, made a lot of progress on it. We got all of the side ribs cut down and welded. And then he went ahead and cut the holes into this back bench. That's gonna be the two hatches that drop into there. Now that we've got this thing to this point, we're getting ready to start framing. We're gonna come right off the front deck, we'll start bringing this thing back, start figuring out how we're gonna lay this thing out. Let's get back to work.
All right, guys, so I got the entire front deck laid out. This thing is sick. This is outside of my wheelhouse. I wanted to do something a little bit different with this build because it has a rod locker in it that I wanted to make bigger than a lot of the rod lockers I've made in the past. And not only because this is a 16 foot boat, but because I wanted this build to be outside of my box. They've got to be a challenge to me. So this is something that I'm kind of hyped about. It's something that is gonna change the whole look of this build and it's pretty dope. You see how I did this raw locker right here? It comes back and it's kicked back on a 45. If this hatch is gonna extend past the deck, I'm actually gonna throw a step in here too. I've been waiting for the right build to throw one of these hatches into that kicks back like this for the raw locker. Now, I didn't really wanna bring it all the way back to a sharp point, but I did want to incorporate this hatch in here with this 45 degree corner. What I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna bring it back from here back to the back bench seat. I'm gonna turn this camera around. I'm gonna give you guys like a walkthrough of how I plan on landing this out. I mean, you can see the deck is extremely custom, but I'm gonna show you how these hatches and stuff are gonna fit in here. Let's get right into it. All right, so check out this front deck. Now this frame is sick, man. This is all made out of one by three, one sixteenths aluminum tubing. And just these pieces right here are made out of the inch and a half, inch and a half, one eighth aluminum angle. And then that one piece that runs up the side right here. But this thing is super lightweight. And I'm pretty hyped by the way I did this because this is gonna be the hatch for the rod locker. Now I'm gonna put an eight foot six inch rod locker from this point right here all the way up. I'm gonna cut a hole out in there and I'm gonna have to extend this thing up inside of this existing deck. You can see right here, I've drawn this out. I've got an X in here. I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna sleeve a piece up inside of there. But this whole area right here, this is gonna be a rod locker and it's gonna be eight foot, six inches long. And the way that I cut this back, I think this is pretty dope because basically from this point back and then right here, I'm gonna bring this straight back all the way to this bench seat right here. It's gonna have a little catwalk here. And I'm gonna incorporate some type of pockets in here so you can have some areas to store some stuff. But that will allow me to run this whole deck all the way streamlined back. And then on the other side over here, I'm gonna basically take that same deck, I'm gonna bring it out about 10 inches on that side. And he's gonna have a same thing, catwalk on the top. And it's gonna come back at an angle to the floor. And then his electrical panel is gonna be over there. But I'm also gonna throw something else in here. Since I brought this back to this point right here, I'm gonna throw a drop-in step here. It's gonna be half the distance of this. This is basically 12 inches from the top of the deck to where the floor is gonna sit. So we're gonna bring a six inch hatch in here and it's gonna be cool because the way it drops in, it can drop down another three inches to get into this floor rib right here. But you can have some deeper storage or stuff he wants to put in there. This whole layout is really dope. And we're gonna have a big hatch here for the rod locker. And then right here, we're gonna have another hatch. This is a 14 by 28, the same thing right here. It's another 14 by 28. This one's gonna be his live well. With this live well, we're gonna drop this beyond this rib right here. So I'm gonna cut this rib out on either side, drop that down and weld some plates in there to finish that thing off. That way we can get about 13 inches of depth for this live well, because I want this thing to be as deep as possible. It's already gonna be a 30 by 16 and it's gonna be big live well. And I want it to be as deep as possible to get the good water flow in there and keep these fish alive. And then this front hatch right here, this is basically just gonna be a big storage hatch. This is 24 inches by 28 inches. I'm gonna put some gas pistons on here to open this thing up and help hold it open because it's a big size hatch. And on either side of that, we've got a symmetrical hatch. This one is going to be tapered. You can tell down here, it's a little bit wider. Up here is shallower, but these are basically gonna be day boxes because this is gonna be his rod locker. So we can drop like a two inch, three inch hatch inside of here. It's gonna be like day box on either side. And we'll do the same thing over there. Then we're gonna have another hatch that's gonna come in over here. This is basically gonna be a little day box too. It's just gonna be access for his pumps and stuff like that. And then he'll have a little bit more space over here for a day box for his phone or you know terminal tack, whatever he wants to put inside of there. It's going to be sick. This thing is definitely outside of my wheelhouse of what I normally do. But if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that I gotta do something with a little twist on it. It's gotta be outside my box and it's gotta be challenging. So this is my challenge. I'm gonna throw a step in here, electrical panel on the side. This hatch is gonna be pretty cool the way it has this kickback at a 45. We got two tapered hatches here, big hatch here and a hatch here and here. So this whole front deck, it's all hatches. We literally have like a little sliver of a piece that's gonna go over here. Same thing on the other side, just to finish this out as far as sheet metal goes. But these are all hatches. This thing is going to be elite. It's going to be the baddest 1652 you guys have ever seen. Now that I've got all of this tacked up together, what I'm going to do is just cut these uprights I put in here. I'm going to take these out. I'm going to 
take the two rivets I put into this front deck out. I'm going to take this whole deck out of here and I'm going to take it to my shop because tomorrow I'm going to get Austin to weld this whole thing out solid. And then we're going to build all these hatches that are going to drop in here. And then when I bring it back, we're going to have this whole front deck pretty much finished up. I'm going to have a couple little strips I got to put in here as far as sheet metal goes, but this thing is going to be dope. And once I get that front deck finished up, I'm going to bring my little piece back on this side. Same thing on that side. I'm going to have this panel that comes across the side with a little catwalk on that side and all those electrical panels are going to be incorporated into that side panel right there it's going to be a sick ass build the only thing i got left to do as far as framing goes is in this back transom area right here i'm basically just going to build this off on either side just like i do all the builds i'm going to drop a big hatch in here and that's going to finish off this whole boat all the way from the bow to stern keep everything streamlined it's going to be one sick ass build guys 18 pounds for the entire front deck that is going into the well-built 1652. This thing is super lightweight, guys. Yeah, it's going to be super strong. Let's get this put in the boat. All right, guys. So as you just saw in the last clip, I took the entire front deck framing out of this boat. I took it to the shop. The thing is sick, man. It only weighs 18 pounds. The entire deck is full of hatches. This literally is like King Neptune deja vu all over again. This is Project X Episode 1. Y'all better stick around. This is going to be one badass project. Let's get back to work.